Hey guys, Ken Ross here and I'm a business consultant that specializes in reducing costs for businesses by looking at their essential expenses. And today, boy do I have a good one today. I went out and I was doing some research on the chip shortage and I found this article, or I landed on this article from the chief officer of Intel talking about the chip shortage and how there were lots of predictions about how long this was going to take, how much it's affecting our economy. As you can see, there are various industries that have had to have shortage of certain supplies or certain uh, things that have dramatically affected how businesses work, you know, and I think, honestly, it's hard to quantify. There are people out there that are speculating on how big the effect is on the chip, how big the chip shortage is affecting different industries, the automotive industry being one of the bigger ones, right? But there are over a hundred and 60 different industries. I have another link to another uh, article I was I found when I was doing some research on how the chip shortage is affecting certain industries. Everything from air conditioning units to things that you just wouldn't think of are on this list. So you really need to understand and, and have a good grasp of what it is that's going on because I think a lot of businesses have already decided what they were going to do about this shortage well in advance. But the longer this goes on, right, the more effect it will have on businesses. And that's something you really need to understand and really need to invest some time into researching. And that's why I wanted to bring it to you today. I really do feel like as the chip shortage wanes on, businesses need to be in a, in a place where they can pivot their business the best they know how. But the chip shortage has affected even Apple, right? They have the most capital in the world. They can leverage whatever deals or relationships they have to make these iPhones. We're not seeing shortages of iPhones, but we are seeing a slowdown in the way in which their products are being released. They have slowed down their M1 production, right? Their rollout of the M1 chips um, as far as what computers are getting the new processors at what times. It's all kind of been slowed down in this, in this very different economy, right? The economy that no one expected uh, because of the pandemic and then this chip shortage and then the supply chain issues, right? This is stuff you really need to understand because something as simple as the automotive issues, right, because of the chip shortage affects something like transportation. The new F-150, right, the electric F-150 that's coming out, a lot of people are, are really anticipating having these vehicles and if the chip shortage is slowing down the production of those vehicles, then they're unable to invest, use their investment wisely towards saving the most money to do transportation related issues. And so that could ultimately raise prices and that's, that's something that most people know, right, it's simple economics, but how, how long is this going to go? That's the question. And will we continue to see bad news like this? I, I don't know what the answer is. All I know is that as a business consultant and as someone who really wants to look at costs, this is something that really interests me and why I wanted to bring it up to you. Uh, once again, check all the, the links in the descriptions to the various articles that I researched. I just, I have a couple of them in there and, uh, you know, do your own research. These are ones that I'm, I'm really, you know, we really want you to check out. So go ahead and take a look at that. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section below. How is the chip shortage really affecting your business? Or how long do you think it's gonna take? That's something I really wanna have a good discussion about. It's something I would love to hear your comments and feedback on. Um, and it's something I pride myself with letting, letting people know about, making, raising awareness, right, to what it is we're doing here. So with that, please be sure to subscribe to my channel if if you haven't, make sure you tell your friends about this wonderful channel that we're out here trying to share information and really want to understand and inspire each other in business. And check out my website, IamKenRoss.com, and until I, until I see you next time, I'll see you around.